which is a question on GST and profit. And then tax A. A? 21B, GST and profit. So the sort of question they're looking at now, in this particular one, they give you all the percentages you need to use. Um, but one of the first things that they're going to ask you is, OK, if I was paying, like, the way goods work, the way things work, a wholesaler might bring a whole bunch of furniture into the country, then the wholesaler sells it to the retailer for a price. The retailer then sells it to you for a price, plus GST, plus markup, so that they get a profit. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah? So if you were buying something from the wholesaler... Yeah, if you could get it straight from the wholesaler, it's a lot cheaper. So if you were buying it from the wholesaler, and it cost $860. Okay. If it was going to cost you 860 bucks from the wholesaler, but then the retailer puts on, they add on 40%. Okay. They're going to add on 40%, so that, that will be their profit. Does that make sense? So that's the price that they, the retailer is paying for it. They're going to add on 40%, okay? Which will give you what? So you can do 860 times 140%. Okay, so that's 100% plus the 40%. Does that make sense? This is just their marker. Okay? Yeah, good idea. So if someone's got a calculator and can just do that for me, 860 times 140%. The wholesaler sells it, say you own a, okay, Jacob, imagine you import beds, okay, and Dylan sells the beds to the public. You import it, and you sell it to Dylan for 860 bucks. Now, if Dylan sold it to Kelsey for 860 bucks, he's not making any profit. Make sense? So he puts on some markup to get some profit. He's putting on 40%, which is actually quite a low markup. Okay, so we've got to do the 140%. So what was 860 times 140%? 1,204. 1,204. Okay, so that's how much the retailer is going to charge it, but there's something else we're missing. GST. So we've got to add another 10% GST, which will give us what? Yeah, you you can do it times one hundred and ten percent. You can either times it by one point one or times it by one hundred and ten percent. The same thing. So when you times it by one hundred and ten percent, what do you get? If you took this price, times it by 110% so that you can add the GST. Wait, when you're finished? Yeah. Is, when you're finished. Sorry? When it's the same yeah. Yeah. It is that? Okay, I wasn't sure. I did that in my head. So, okay. So that's now the price that Kelsey would pay for it at the shop. Does that make sense? Okay. So Kelsey's going to pay that. That's what we call, that's including GST. And sometimes we refer to it as the retail price. Okay? This was the ex-GST price. Okay, this was before GST, then we added the GST. And this is the wholesale price. That's the wholesaler, Jacob, the guy who imported it from where it was made, sold it to Dylan. For 860 bucks. Dylan, the retailer, put 40% on for a profit and then the 10% for the GST and sold it to Kelsey for $1,324.40. Cool. Now, any of you guys that are involved in farming should realise that this is exactly what happens to farmers. The price of wheat or the price of wool or the price of lambs or anything like that is not the price that we pay when we get to the butcher. Okay? 
So is everyone happy with that? Okay, are you happy with that? So that's what they've done. That's they've taken a price, added profit. So that's where the profit part comes in, and added GST. Now, the other thing they might do, okay, the other thing they might do is they might say, look, if you paid three hundred and eighty-five dollars at the shop, we want to work out what the wholesale price is. In other words, we've got to go backwards. Does that make sense? We're now going backwards. This way, we went from the wholesaler to the retailer. Now we're going the other way. So to get back to the wholesale, what's the first thing we have to take off? Yes, because that's including GST. So now we're going to take off the GST. So we do the 385 times 90%, okay? Because that's taking off the 10% for the GST. Is that how we do it? No. Okay, very, very quick example. If you had something that was $100 and then you added the 10% GST, it's going to cost $110. Would you agree? Okay, someone do 110 times 90%. $110 times 90%. 99. Right. What was our original price? It wasn't 99, was it? Okay, what you have to do to undo the GST, instead of multiplying, what you have to do is divide by, guess what? What did you times by to get the GST? Divide by 11. Divided by 11 or divided by 110%. They're the same thing. If you divide it by 11, you'll actually only get the GST component. Okay, so divide it by the 110%, and what's that give you? 350? Excellent, because you can see that the 35 was what was added on. Okay, so what we've now got is we now have an X GST price. That's brilliant. We now need to get back to the wholesale price. What was the profit on the wholesale price? Sorry? 40%. So how do we get back? What did we do to get the wholesale price, uh, to get the retail price? We times it by 140%. How do we undo that? Wow. When, we, when we went from the wholesale to the retail, we added 40%. Now we're taking off 40%. So we're dividing by the 140%. What was it? 250? That is your wholesale price. Yes? Yeah. But does that make sense? We've done it forwards and we've done it backwards. You've just got to remember the steps. From wholesale to retail, you add the profit. From retail to the, the person in the store, you add the GST. And then go backwards when you do the other one. Alright, I'm just going to hit done.